elimination, okay? Go ahead and put your name and let's get started. Okay, so our objective in this lesson is to solve systems by adding or subtracting to eliminate a variable, okay? Adding or subtracting to eliminate a variable. Okay, so everything that we learned in sections 6.1, 6.2, and 6.3 is all the same types of problems, but there's three different ways to solve them. The very first one that we learned in 6.1 was to graph it. Do you guys remember? We would <coughs> plot the graphs, and then we would find out where they would intersect, right? And that where they intersected, the X and Y, that was our solution to the system. The second way that we did was substitution. So we would put everything in terms of one variable, and then we would plug it into the other equation, okay? This third section is to use a, a process called elimination, okay? I'll give you guys another 30 seconds. So we're either going to add both the equations together or subtract, and it's up to us to figure out which one to do, okay? You good, John Carlo? Okay. Now, elimination is where we are going to either add both of the equations together or subtract both of the equations. Yep. Yeah, I can go back. So, guys, very first thing that we do when we're using elimination, okay? Make sure on your quiz, if it asks you to use a method, that you use that method. In this case, we're using elimination, okay? First thing that you guys want to do is you want to recognize, okay, are any of the terms similar? Okay, so we've got 2x plus 5y equals 17, and we've got 6x minus 5y equals negative 9. Now, in the top and the bottom equations, what term is the same? Ashton. Five y, very good. Okay. 5y, okay? So go ahead and highlight the 5y in both equations, okay? That's the first thing we look for. Is anything the same? Now, also highlight the plus in front of the 5y and the minus, okay? How we solve this e these equations, guys, is all we do is we're either going to add these two equations together or subtract them. But what we want to do is we want to make that 5y eliminate. That's the whole process. Is It's called elimination for a reason, okay? So when we're solving using elimination, we want those two to get eliminated. In order to do that, we have to add these together. So you're just going to put a plus sign right next to the second one and then an equal sign down below, okay? So everything from the top is going to be added with everything in the bottom, okay? So we're going to take 2x plus 6x, and that'll give us 8x. We're going to take plus 5y minus 5y, and that will give us plus 0. And then we're going to get 17 minus 9, or plus negative 9, which will give us 8. So since we're using elimination, what did we just eliminate from our equation, guys? Giancarlo? Y. y. Very good. We eliminated Y, okay? You always want to eliminate one of your variables when you're using elimination. Okay, so now we've just got 8X equals 8. What's that answer? Divide by 8, divide by 8. What do we get, Giancarlo? X equals? One. How do we find y? Anderson? Okay, or we can just take the x equals one, right? And just plug it back into either one, okay? So let's do that. Let's plug it back, x equals one, into the first one. Okay, so we've got two x plus five y equals 17. We're going to take this one and we're going to plug it in. So we've got 2 times 1 
plus 5y equals 17. This is going to be 2 plus 5y equals 17. We subtract 2 from both sides. We get 5y equals 15. Divide by 5, divide by 5. y equals 3. So our solution, using elimination, we canceled out the y's, and we got x equals 1. Then we took that 1 and we plugged it in for either equation for the x value. If you have questions, hold them for the end of this slide because we're going to do two more problems just like this. And it should make sense once we do the other two. Okay? All right. Take a look. Um, you guys don't have these on yours, so you need to copy these down. Copy down 4x plus y equals 19 and negative y minus 3x equals 1. Okay, who can tell me what's the term that's the same in both equations? Anderson? Or y, very good. So we've got y up top, and we've got a negative y down below, okay? Now, they're not lined up. So the first thing that we need to do is line them up. So let's rewrite this. So we're gonna write four, oops. Let's line them up. So we're gonna write four x plus y equals 19. And now we're gonna put the negative three x here below the four x, and then minus y equals 19. So now, do you see how our highlighted portions, they match up now? The negative y is now below the positive y. Now we can add them together, okay? So when we add them together, we're gonna get 4x minus 3x. What do we get there? 4x plus negative 3x. Giancarlo? Just positive x. What happens with the plus y and the minus y? They cancel, so we're going to get plus 0 <laughs> equals, what's 19 plus 19? Oh, I'm sorry. It should be a 1. Good catch. Good catch, Giancarlo. Should be a 1. What's 19 plus 1? 20. So what's x? x equals 20. Okay? How do we solve for y? Tessa? Very good. You can plug it into either one. Okay, which one do you want to plug it in for? Okay, I like that one too because there's positive numbers. Okay, so we're going to plug it into 4x plus y equals 19. Okay, how do I rewrite this, Tessa, with x equals 20? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, what do I get? And my last step. Mm -hmm. we'll subtract what? 80 from both sides. And what do I get? Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay? You guys will find that elimination is probably the best method to use, okay? But that does not mean that we don't need to know the other two, okay? Because on your quiz, it's gonna say, solve this system using a particular 
method, okay? It's either gonna say graphing, substitution, or elimination, and you have to know how to do all three, okay? You can obviously use one or the other to check your work, but I need to see that method in terms of solving it. What's up, Giancarlo? Um, I haven't decided on that yet. That was a good question. So Zoomers, Giancarlo asked, will we be able to print mm -hmm. notes? And I haven't decided yet, okay? I will let you guys know if I will let you use notes or not. Okay, last one on this slide. 11x plus 5y equals 11. What's in common, guys? What's the same term? Anderson? 11x, okay? We've got positive 11x and a negative 11x. So all we're gonna do is add them together. But before we do that, we want everything to match up, right? So let's go ahead and let's just rewrite it so it's all lined up. So we're gonna have 11x plus 5y equals 11, and then negative 11x equals nine. Do you guys see how I left a space because there's no y term in the second one? I'm leaving a space for a reason. So when we add them, we don't get confused, okay? And again, our highlighted portions should match up, which they do, negative 11x, positive 11x. We're going to add these two together, so put a big plus sign and an equal sign. Okay, so we've got 11x minus 11x. What happens there? What's 11x plus negative 11x? Zero. Zero. They eliminate. That's our elimination. Okay, so we've got zero. What's 5y plus 0y? 5y. 5y. And then what's 11 plus 9? 20. Very good. So we've got 5y equals 20. How do we solve for y? Tessa? Thank you, Rioni. Divide both sides by five. Tessa, what do I get there? Mm -hmm. Y equals four. Okay, guys, who can tell me how to solve for X? Giancarlo. Very, yeah, very good. We want to plug in the four for where we see y in the first equation. So let's rewrite it. We've got 11x plus 5y equals 11. Giancarlo, can you tell me what we're going to write as our next line? 11x plus 5 plus 4 equals 11. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next step. Um, and then we will apply it, so it would be 11x plus 4 equals 11. Mm-hmm. Okay. Subtract 20, and then what do we do? And 11x equals negative 9. Mm-hmm. And my last step. Bye. Good, divide by 11 to both sides. So our final answer is x equals negative nine over 11. And I just want you guys to leave it like that because nine, 11, they don't have any common factors so they can't cancel, okay? That was a really long slide, guys. But remember, for elimination, you're just looking to cancel something out, okay? You want to eliminate something. Questions? Okay.
Let's do a few more. In A, what do you think we're going to cancel? The 6y. And if we have one that's positive and one that's negative, we're going to add these two together. So we're going to put a plus sign. When you would subtract is when you had them as the same sign. So if it was negative 6y and a negative 6y, if you subtracted them, then it would work better. Okay, that, that way they would cancel. Okay, we're going to put our equal sign down below. What's my new x term? 8x. What happens with the y's? Mm-hmm, so plus zero equals negative 32 plus 48, 16. 16, okay? Now, you guys can solve for x, you guys can solve for y, okay? But this is the whole premise of this lesson, so I want to make sure that we're clear on that, okay? Let's do b. All right, B, what do you think we're going to cancel in B? What's in common? Giancarlo. Yep, the 3x, negative 3x, and the positive 3x. Are we going to add or subtract these two equations? What happens when we subtract? Oh, we're going to add them, okay? Do you see how subtracting would give us negative 6x? That's not what we want. We want to cancel something out. We want to eliminate something. Alan, what am I going to get? What am I going to get for my x term? 0. What am I going to get for my y term? Negative what? Uh-uh. Ah, we're adding them together. So what are we going to get? Negative 7y. Ashton, what am I going to get for the non-variable term? 14. 14, the constant, okay? So we've got negative 7y equals 14. Are you guys good so far? We starting to see it now that we've done some elimination stuff, okay? Because it does get a little bit more tricky, okay? Not much, but it does get a little bit more tricky. Okay, the next slide I want you guys cross out. We are not doing problem number two. Put three big X's through that problem. And then problem number trace. Solving a system by multiplying one equation. Okay, so sometimes, right, we're going to see stuff and we're going to be like, oh my gosh, how are we supposed to use elimination, Mr. Yurko? None of these are the same, okay? But two of them are multiples of each other. Let's see if we can figure out which two are multiples of each other. Rioni, what do you think? Good. The 5 and the 15. Excellent. Remember, you want to look at which ones, oops, have the same variable, okay? So the 15y positive and the negative 5y. So we want to change one of these to be like the other. So we're going to multiply one of them. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply the second one, every single thing, by 3. We're going to multiply it by 3. So we're going to rewrite it as negative 2x plus 15y equals negative 32, and then we're going to multiply everything by 3. So we're going to take 7x, multiply it by 3. What do we get? If we take 7x and we multiply it by 3, what do we get? 51. Not 51. 7, 7x. 21x. Oops. 21x. We're going to take the negative 5y, multiply it by 3. We're going to get negative 15y. 
And then Giancarlo, what's 17 times 3? 51. Now do we see something that's the same? Do we see something that will eliminate Ashton? Which one? Good. So we know we did our job right if the 15's, 15 Y's will now cancel. Okay? So Angelina, we're going to add these together. And what are we going to get for our X term? We're going to add them. Remember, one's negative, and we're adding 21x to it. So which one's bigger, 21 or 2? 20. 21. So we know our answer is going to be positive. So we're going to take 21 minus 2, which is 19x. Janessa, what happens with the y's? They cancel out, so we're going to get plus 0 equals... And then negative 31 plus 51. Who's good at adding and subtracting those big numbers? What'd you get, Tessa? Negative 19. So now we've got 19x equals negative 19. Victoria, what do I have to do to solve this? By? Beautiful. And what's my final answer, Victoria? X equals negative uno. Very good, okay? Now, you can take that negative one, plug it into either one. I'm gonna plug it into the negative two x plus 15 equals negative 32. Negative two x plus 15 y equals negative 32. Take my x equals negative one, plug it in there. Negative two times negative one plus 15 y equals negative 32. We can get two plus 15 y equals negative 32. What's up? You got what? That's fine. So it doesn't matter which one goes on the top and which one goes on the bottom. You should get the same result. You got the same thing, right? You got positive one. Did I do something wrong? I don't think I did anything wrong. No, I think my, my work's pretty good so far. I just looked at it again. Okay. From here, you're going to subtract 2. Subtract 2. We're going to get 15y equals negative 34. Divide by 15. Divide by 15, and we get y equals negative 34 over 15. Can't simplify that. We're just going to leave it like that. Interesting. I'm, I'm trying to see if I did anything wrong. Hmm. What's up, Ashton? What's up? You're a little bit confused with what? Oh, how did we get a negative there? Yeah. Ah, that's what I was missing. Okay, so when we did 
the negative 32 plus 51, we should have gotten a positive 19 there. And then we should have gotten positive 19, positive one, that's where we messed up on. I was like, this is not supposed to be. Yeah, you were right, okay? So, and then this is going to be a positive one, which would keep this as a negative. So then it would be plus two, plus two. So we would get negative 30 divided by 15, which is just negative two. Sorry, guys. Good catch. Good catch, guys. Giancarlo and Ashton. So negative 30 divided by 15, which is negative 2. So our answer was 1 comma negative 2. Okay. Two more. Two more, guys. Bear with me. We can do it. We can do it. We're almost there. Okay. 2x plus 3y equals 1. 6x minus 2y equals 2. Are any of our terms the same between the first equation and the second equation? Exactly the same. Are any of our terms exactly the same? No, they're not. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to take one of them and multiply it by something. Does anyone see what we can do to get some two of the terms that are the same. What do we do, Tessa? Very good. We can times the entire top system or top equation by three because I see a two x and I see a six x. So we're going to multiply this entire thing by three. When we do that, we're going to get what? Who can tell me that whole top equation after we multiply by three? Go for it, Tessa. Mm -hmm. Not three y anymore. Uh huh. Nine y equals three. Multiply each of the terms by three. And on the bottom, we're just going to get the same thing. So it's just going to rewrite 6x minus 2y equals 2. Okay, are we going to add these or subtract them from each other? In order to eliminate our 6x. What do you think, Tessa? Very good. We're going to subtract. Do you see how this one, they're both positive 6x? This means that we have to subtract them, okay? This is the first one we've done with subtraction, okay? So we're gonna subtract them. 6x minus 6x, zero. 9y minus two, negative 2y. Two 9y minus negative 2y. Giancarlo? Very good, plus 11y. Why is it plus 11y? Because uh, those negative Good. We're actually doing 9 plus 2, or 9y plus 2y. Okay, and then 3 minus 2? <laughs> it's just 1, okay? We divide by 11. 11y equals 1. We get y equals 1 divided by 11. All you have to do is then plug it back in for, X, for Y, and you will get X. Let's do it because it's a fraction, okay? I'm going to plug it into the second one. So we're going to take 6X minus 2Y equals 2. We're going to take that Y equals 1 over 11 and plug it in. So 6x minus 2 times 1 over 11 equals 2. So 
6x minus 2 times 1 over 11 is just 2 over 11 because you multiply the numerators, the 2 and the 1, and we get equals 2. And then we have to do 6x plus, and we're going to, oh, sorry, we're going to add 2 over 11 to both sides. And we're going to get 6x equals, these will cancel, 2 plus 2 over 11. Let's add those together. How are we going to add them together? Because they don't have a common denominator. Yeah, we can make the two into a fraction. So that's two over one. Or how can we make it into a fraction over 11? What's two as a fraction over 11? Good, 22 over 11 plus two over 11. So we get six X equals 22 plus 2? 24. The denominator stays the same because we're adding them. 24 over 11. Then we divide by 6. Divide by 6. So we get x equals 24 over 11 times 6. Well, something will cancel. Do you think, does the six cancel with anything? Yeah, the six and the 24 cancel. And what are we gonna get in the numerator then? What's 24 divided by six? So our answer is just four over 11. This one was tough because of the fractions, okay? So I walked us through it. Oh, something like this will not be given on the quiz with this complicated of fractions, okay? Wait, is there, any fractions on the quiz though? there will be fractions on the quiz, but it won't be this complicated. Last one on this slide. Okay, guys, what do you see? There's two ways we could have got we could go about this problem. What do you see that we could do to either the top or the bottom equation to make it nice so we can eliminate something? Anderson, what do you see? Okay, we can multiply our bottom equation by two. If we multiply our bottom equation by two, what are we looking to cancel? Good, the x terms. What else could we have done? Giancarlo? Ah, oh, divide by two. But then we would get start getting fractions with that y. Do you see that? And the five over two wouldn't be very clean. You want to always multiply by something. But what can we multiply the top one by to eliminate something? Uh, three. Very good. Because if we multiplied by three, then we could eliminate the y's. Okay? Let's just, you could do it either way. We're going to do it with the way that Anderson said first which is multiply by two to the bottom equation. Okay, so we've got four X minus Y equals five. That one stays the same. Let's just rewrite it. Four X minus Y equals five. And now our bottom equation, let's multiply two by everything. Anderson, tell me what we're gonna get. Very good. Four X plus six Y equals 22. Someone who's been paying attention, do we add or subtract these two equations? What do you think, Anderson? Very good. We're going to subtract them. Why are we going to subtract them? Very good. We have two positive values. Our 4x was positive here, and our 4x is positive here. When they're both positive, we need to subtract them so they cancel or they eliminate, OK? 
okay? This is the whole premise of our method. So 4x minus 4x, we're going to get 0. Negative y minus 6y. Does it? Mm-hmm. If you guys want to highlight this minus sign so you don't forget about it for each term, that would be smart too. Because sometimes it might look like, oh, it's just negative 4x, and then we are going to add, okay? If you highlight the minus sign, then you don't forget about it for any of the terms. And then 5 minus 22. Who's good with those negatives? Should be like what? Negative 17? Yeah, I think it's negative 17. How do we solve this? We just divide by negative 7, divide by negative 7. We're going to get y equals positive 17 over 7. And then we would just plug that back in and solve for x. For those of you that want practice dealing with fractions, this is a good one. So when you plug back in 7, you're going to deal with fractions. I'm sorry, when you plug back in y, you're going to deal with fractions. So this would be a good one if you want to practice with fractions and solving this one. Okay, any questions? And when we have an identity, okay, all we know is just what Giancarlo says, we have infinitely many solutions. Infinitely many solutions. Okay? Remember, you're going to have infinitely many solutions whenever you have the same equation for both, right? Do you see how when we multiplied by 2, just like Ashton said, we got the same equation on the top and the same equation on the bottom. If we were to plot that or to graph it, it would be the same line, correct? If you have the same equation, you have the same line. We're going to have infinitely many solutions. Okay, and let's do one more. 4x minus 8y equals 15. Negative 5x plus 10y equals negative 30. Now, this one's complicated because we cannot just multiply one thing to eliminate something. We have to multiply both of them, okay? So you see how we couldn't multiply 4 by anything to get 5, and we can't multiply 8 by anything to get 10. All you're going to do is multiply each of them by something to get both of them the same. So let's multiply the top one by 5. And let's multiply the bottom one by 4. We're just going to use the y, the x number from the top, and the x number from the bottom. So multiply by 5 to the top equation, multiply by 4 to the bottom equation. We will finish this one up tomorrow. Guys, have a great day. Good work today. Nice job. Um, make sure to turn in your notes. I'm going to update the homework assignment. Not all of it will be due tomorrow, okay? Only certain numbers. So look for me to update the homework assignment. Okay, so for this problem, what you're gonna do next 
<clears throat> is you multiply the top equation by five, you multiply the bottom equation by four. So what you're gonna get here is you're gonna get 20x minus 40y equals five times 15 is 75. And then for the second one, you're gonna multiply all the terms yep. by four. So you're gonna get negative 20x plus 40y equals 30 times four is negative 120. Now what we're gonna do with these two equations is add them together. The reason we're adding them is so that stuff will cancel, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel these, we're gonna cancel these, we're gonna get zero plus zero equals negative, I believe we get 45 here. Is zero equal to negative 45? No, no. So therefore, we have a no solution. And we are done.